Hey there, Lammies. Welcome to another Sea Creature of the Day video. We're learning about the sea and animals in the sea, in the ocean, in the sea, in the ocean. Woo! Yesterday we learned all about the killer whale. We learned that the killer whale can get up to 30 feet long and very, very heavy. We also learned that when a killer whale splashes the water, you can hear that splash miles away. And finally, we learned that killer whales have teeth that they hunt with, unlike other whales. All right, I have another great animal for us today. Are we ready? Let's get a drum roll. A da -da 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 -da. Today's sea creature of the day is the lionfish. This fish has very vivid colors and his spines are very poisonous. This means that he can scare away predators and swim freely without fear of being attacked. The lionfish is a type of scorpion fish. Its beautiful fins have poisonous spines capable of causing very bad pain. Like many of this type of fish, it does not have many predators since few animals will dare to attack it. Let's talk about what the lionfish is like in the wild. The lionfish lives in shallow waters among the rocks and coral reefs of warm temperate seas. So he likes warmer waters and he also likes more coral reef areas. So his funny fins, his little spines, they serve not only to protect him, but they also serve to camouflage him, to hide him from other animals that might want to make him their prey. This way he can kind of hide and hunt for his food in the seaweed without being noticed. Many of these types of fish will lay eggs in very different ways. The Californian type of this fish, he'll lay his eggs in, or she'll lay her eggs in weird balloon type things, and those will float at the water surface. And as soon as those babies hatch, they will sink down to the bottom of the ocean to stay safe from predators. Hey there, Lammies. Um, yes, Miss Nika looks different because I'm filming this on a different day than when I filmed the first part of this. So when I went to go find all of my pictures for this fish, I realized I couldn't find any very good pictures of the lionfish's eggs. Um, there just weren't any great ones where you could really see what was going on that I could find. But instead, I did find some really cool pictures of baby lionfish. So I'm going to include those next so you can see just how cool they look when they're babies. Sorry I couldn't find any great pictures of eggs, you guys. All right, I'll see you soon. What does the lionfish eat and how does he get his food? So kind of like our friend the lemon shark, the lionfish will eat anything he can catch and fit in his mouth. So he'll eat any kind of fish that's smaller or even a crustacean, so like a shrimp or a crab that's smaller. And they can open their mouths pretty wide. Like when you look at them, you don't quite realize how wide they can open their mouths. Some different types of these fish can eat once and that'll keep them full and happy for quite a few days so they don't need to hunt quite as much. It just depends on the type of lionfish. So let's talk about how the lionfish defends itself. So as I mentioned before, his little spines are actually poisonous. It's kind of like being stung by a jellyfish, but a little bit different. It's very dangerous. You don't ever want to touch one of these fish in the wild. The reason they have that is to protect themselves. This makes them not interesting at all to most predators. This is a great picture where you can see him camouflaging himself. He is hiding from other fish. Let's learn some fun facts about our friend, the lionfish. So the lionfish can be about 15 inches long, maybe about like that big, but his spikes can be up to 30 inches long. How crazy is that? Would that be crazy to see a fish that big? Some lionfish can lay up to 20,000 eggs, 20,000. For the most part, they like to be alone. They probably won't hang out too close to each other. They like to just hunt and be by themselves. Most of the time, they're kind of hiding in that seaweed, so they're not really social and hanging out with other fish. So this is a fish that a lot of people want to have as a pet, but you really shouldn't because they are poisonous. They are not safe to have in your house, but some people will try to have them as pets. This is a fish that is much better off being in the ocean. There are some fish that do very well in your house and will live very nice lives in your house. This is just not necessarily one of them, simply because it's not safe. You could be at risk when feeding them or cleaning the tank. It's just better to let this guy live in the ocean. All right, Lammies, that was really interesting learning all about the lionfish. I enjoyed learning that they can lay up to 20,000 eggs. I also really liked learning that 
because they're poisonous, they're not that interesting to predators. And even if they are, they have that fabulous way of protecting themselves. I also really liked learning that they will lay their eggs in balloon type things at the top of the ocean and the babies will have to sink all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. What did you like learning about our friend the lionfish? I'd love to hear it at the Lambs Class email account or the Lambs Class Facebook page. All right, Lammies, I'll have one more great animal for you tomorrow. He's super great, kind of scary. Hmm. That's a hint. <laughs> All right, Lammies, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.